Let me show you something here. This is XO by XLN. It's been out for a few years and it's great. What you're looking at, if it's completely new to it, is a visual representation of all the samples I have. I've got tens of thousands of my own I've collected over the years and it's added a few more in its library. So we have kicks here, low ones here and higher ones up here and snares here. And we have what's down here, the percussion and claps here so on and so forth so that's that's hours of fun and there's loads of videos that will tell you all about that this is version 1.42 and there's something new something has changed something new and it's to do with the um it's to do with the way that you can browse the the different grooves so you have all these different grooves and a groove is a midi groove and it's also the sounds that come with it so you change the uh, groove and the sounds change too and you go oh I want those sounds I like those sounds I'd like to hear something else with those sounds please is that all right lock all stops all right now can you play this one uh, uh, you've changed all the sounds and it's all gone in it it's a bit bit tedious that and there's not really been a way around it and don't get too excited they haven't suddenly let you do that but what they have done is something that's kind of it's really great <laughs> and something that's even more fun in some ways or even more fun yeah so here we have the search thing and it's all about the search thing search box and you see down here are all the folders these are the one i've got a couple of their new sample packs well, they're, they're okay if they're half price they're fine there's not that many grooves in them and but there you go uh, and it comes with sounds as well no, you know they're okay this ultra bionic is the better of these two for what it's worth um these are from my battery four library this is my battery three these are my expansions from complete Drum Core is a library by Soundine, I think. There's some cinematic stuff in here. Um, Modern and found analog machines. So this is all stuff that I've added. So most of what you're going to be hearing today is stuff that is from my folder. You will have your own. If you don't, well, we'll come into that. So let's just start. Let's just start with the basic minimal steady drive. Now let's change this. Let's now say we only want to hear stuff from the analog drum machines. All those sounds have just changed. And moreover, if I kind of now click this, that's only from analog drum machines too. More moose bell. These are all analog drum machines. It would sound like um, that's the that's the built-in sounds, and it's found fairly close matches uh, for that's just from the analog drum machine folder. And you kind of go, okay, well I don't just want analog drum machines. I want an 808, not 8080, 808. Now we're just listening to sounds that are tagged 808. And how fast was that? Or 909, say. Or a good old DR55. Really going back in time. That's <laughs> good with the DR55. Um, and it's not just that. You can put in, say, hip hop. That's come up with zero samples because it's only looking at analog drum machines. There's nothing tagged, so I've clicked them all. Now it's found some stuff. Let's change this to tempo. So we're in the low tempos, true flavor. Anything tagged with hip hop's coming up. Or you could put in any genre. Any genre that you think you've got kind of tagged will whip up the tempo, shall we, for... Um Or, what about a country? What about India? Or a descriptive sound. Going on slightly the same grooves, but obviously they sound completely different. If you want to sound like craft work in a hurry, this is a pretty good place to start. What happens if I put vocal in? Crazy, slow it down a bit. I 
I've got the Battery 4 library in here. They've got a beatboxer called Elliot. See how fast that is to just find. I've got sound effects in here and I've got some of my own. Uh, if I just go into sound effects there, it's again, it's finding nothing now. So it's playing the original sounds. But if I change this to guns, a friend of mine is a licensed shooter. He's very good, and he, you know, hey kids, only have a license. Um, and he's very well behaved, but he let me record his guns. You can see how fast it is to just get some kind of inspiration going, drill down to the kind of sounds you're looking for. Um, now, these, this is my, these are my own samples. That's my own stuff that I recorded. And most of this stuff is, has come from other places. It really pays to kind of sort your, sort your stuff out first, if you can, and get them into folders. Analog drum machines. I just realized I spell that with a U. That's not going to help me, is it? Um, but anyway, that's done. Um, so I've got stuff from Dub Sounds, Eraserface, Gold Baby, Rhythmic Robot, Samples and Mars. These these are great companies that produce really nice stuff. And so here's all my drum machines. So when I put in 808, it's going to find anything in that subfolder. There we go. Um, so try and get yourself organized a little bit. And I've, yeah, I've got some uh, drum core. That's a marching band thing. Um if I put in marching, it's quite fun. Uh, or, so. Um, digital machines, sound effects, synth drums, so on and so forth. For the complete stuff, uh, these are these are the complete expansions you get, uh, and you can buy them separately. If you've got like the ultimate version, you get great loads of these. Um, and what I've done is I've just taken the samples because it comes with loops and goodness knows what else. And I just want the single shot samples, and I've kind of named them here: chip tone, dubstep, R and B, anything here I think is going to be potentially useful. So chip tune. Does that work? If we put chip tune now, it should do. As long as I've got that checkbox selected for NIXO, and I do. Um, okay. Yeah, you know. <laughs> um, you got to laugh, haven't you? You gotta laugh. I mean, you show me a more fun, quick way to get a specific kind of groove going. And I want to make this point: everything you've heard is probably the first time anyone's ever heard that combination because it's unique to your samples. It's finding the what it's doing is it's finding that closest sample initially to what it's got in the um, in the memory. So if I just add this to something, Chiptone X, that's now finding nothing. This is what it was. That's what came with it. If I just take the X away. Those are the closest chip tune sounds to that. Or if you want to just start cycling around, found a few other alternatives. Say so you love that, but actually you want that snare to be a 909. You just lock everything else. Unlock that. Uh, now go to 909. That's the rim click, isn't it? That's changed colour. I know a snare should be blue. So what I can do is check that. Solo it. Where is it? Up there. Down there, please. Uh, I've got to press that. There we go. And so that's how easy it is to start switching kit parts out. And of course, you can change the groove. Um, you can you can do all this it's 
So, you know, get to the closest position you can get and then start mucking around with it like that. And it will be completely unique to you every time. That's what I love. You know, I've still got Stylus RMX. I still love it. But gee, you know, you, you do have to work to make sure it's, you know, because I haven't updated it since about 1833. And so you really do have to work to make it sound not over-identifiable as something from 1833. Um, here, it's just fresh and new, depending on what you what you search for and you can be really kind of left brained with your uh, with your search criteria you can put you know any just start like you search for it's like searching google but you're just searching your, your samples um and it's guiding you with its clever algorithm um okay that's the that's the basics to so say if you're interested in exo there's loads of other videos i'm not paid to do this i'm just a fan um and yeah look out there's on sale sometimes i'm sure i've seen it for like 70 quid or 60 quid or something and it's that's nuts i mean it's nuts at 120 quid it's so good um just briefly some of you may be interested if i clear all that down now um if you just want a quick look at the um uh where are we <laughs> this is this these are the new collections so you see it promises like 63 variations in f different grooves. In fact, there's only about 15, and there are all these different variations here. And the variations are pretty similar. And all that. This is the better of the two, I think, Ultra Bionic. That's got a few more uh, samples in it. I'm gonna zap it again. So, you know, it, the one thing about this that it does, does give you a few more grooves to kind of get you going as starting point for your own samples. So, you know, it's 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 yeah, you know, if it's on sale, get them if they're on sale. That's what I say. All right, thanks for listening, and I'll see you on another one. Goodbye.